Hi guys, welcome back to Pastis Call. This is Chegu Vinod here. Uh, for today's uh, video, I will be explaining to you about Chapter 3, Forces and uh, Pressure, Form 4 Physics. Hopefully you guys have gained uh, enough knowledge from my Chapter 2, uh, Forces and uh, Motion. Okay, now before I start my video, my explanation, I would like to give you an overall idea what Chapter 3 is about. Okay, now Chapter 3 guys, uh, first you can divide it to three states of matter. Now, first of all, you need to know the topic's name, isn't it? So your Chapter 3, okay, title, forces, and pressure okay from four guys eh? now forces and pressure is divided into solid liquid and gas okay now your entire chapter 3 actually has two parts okay solid liquid and gas and you will learn about three of your famous scientists three laws huh? I'll explain solid liquid and gas first now for solid what you are about to learn talks about a formula where your pressure equals to force over area okay your force is in newtons and your area is in meter square and at the end over here when you are writing the unit guys eh, the unit is written as over here newtons m negative 2 oh you can also write your unit as Pascal and short form for PA so technically over here this is your unit it's either Nm negative 2 or it's PA Pascal okay that is what you will learn for solid now for liquid there are two things that you will discover but I'll explain the first one for liquid the formula will be pressure total pressure guys eh, equals to atmospheric pressure plus pressure in a liquid now for the pressure in a liquid okay for this you will learn a formula that looks like this pressure in liquid H rho G where H stands for height or depth and your rho uh, refers to the uh, density of the liquid and g refers to gravity atmospheric pressure is what i will explain later in my videos your normal atmospheric pressure is uh, normally casually said as one atmospheric but there are more to it which you will definitely see in my videos your pressure of liquid on an object or the liquid pressure itself at a certain depth is given to you as pressure liquid h rho g careful guys sometimes they can also rewrite uh, just change the position or sometimes rho g h or even i sometimes keep telling you know rho g h or h rho g don't worry about it as long as h rho g all the three over here is that okay for gas there are three things that you will learn okay but most importantly the first thing that i will teach you for gas is how to use your mercury barometer okay that's the first thing okay your mercury barometer and the second thing that i will teach you is on your uh, mercury manometer but it doesn't have to be mercury all the time it can be other liquids okay all right now these are the first part of forces and pressure that you will study now my favorites are after this now, after this you will learn about three most famous scientists now the first talks about uh, solids uh, talks about over here pressure on solids mostly Pascal's principle okay the first is Pascal's principle now second is your Archimedes principle okay
All right. And the third scientist is your Bernoulli's principle. Okay. I'll just raise it up a little bit so that you can see. Okay, be very careful with the spelling, guys, because uh, a wrong apostrophe or a wrong uh, alphabet in between will result. Uh, no marks over here for your exam, so be very careful. So, this is the overall idea on what you will study for Chapter 3. You will study solid, liquid gases, what are the formulas involved, how to calculate the pressure, and you will study the beautiful concepts of Pascal, Archimedes, and Bernoulli. All right. I will take pride in explaining each and every of these principles slowly, very relaxed, so that you can understand. All right, guys. Now view my next videos for solid, liquid, and gas.